Hey everybody, welcome to Southern G-More Gals. If you love budget-friendly DIYs and thrift flips, well, you're in the right place. And if you're new here to my channel, I'm Elizabeth. I want to welcome you here. And if you're returning, welcome back. Now we're in a really fun challenge today to take some unconventional materials and make some DIYs with these. So I don't know about you, but I have a million of these essential oil bottles around. So if you've not tried essential oils, I would definitely recommend trying those, but they come in these beautiful amber glass or dark brown glass. Um, so I peel the labels off of these. They do have a little plastic piece in the top. I pop that out and I pulled the ring off around the top. So these are just the bottles and um, two of them are from the same brand and one brand is a different brand so one size is just a little bit different so that's the one I'm going to put in the middle and then the two on the ends here they are exactly the same brand so they're exactly the same size and when I was trying to think about what I was going to use and make for this challenge, I wanted to make everything into Easter decorations. So that's what I'm going to do with all of my DIYs today. So the first thing I did was I painted the two bottles that are go, going to go on the end. This is the plaster shade of Waverly chalk paint. And then I'm going to leave the bottle that's in the middle. I'm going to leave that, that pretty amber glass color or brown. And these sponges here come in a three pack from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use the smallest brush to make a little bunny on here. And all of my DIYs today are really fun and simple to make. Anyone can make these. So I'm going to use the sponge to do the bottom part of the bunny. And then I'm going to freehand the top. But, you know, if you're not a good painter, no worries. This is really easy to do. And, you know, if you mess up, just take a wet paper towel, wipe it off, or just start over and paint over it. Really simple. And I'm just going to make my bunnies kind of plain Jane bunnies here. I'm not going to put any faces on them, but you know, you could, you can make some little bunny faces on here. I was trying to find something to make a little cotton tail or a little bunny tail, but I didn't like the way that the pom-poms and things were looking. So my bunnies don't have a little um, pom-pom or a little bunny tail here, but they still look cute. These are so cute. So stay tuned to the end so you can see how these look when they're all together. And I can't believe that Easter is like right around the corner. Everything is moving. It feels like so fast and coming so quick. But Easter is going to be here before we know it. So for the brown bottle or the amber bottle, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm using that little small sponge brush. And I'm using the Waverly shade of plaster chalk paint to do my white bunny here. I'm just freehanding his head and his ears. But we're staying daylight much longer here already. I can't wait till the time changes. I'm so ready for spring and summer and some nice, sunny, warm weather. I don't know about you, but I, I can't wait. I'm ready for winter to be over. So once the paint dries, I wanted a little bit of decoration here on my bottles. So I'm going to use some twine from the Dollar Tree. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue from my gun. I'm going to glue the end of the twine here. I'm going to wrap it around. I wrapped it around about two or three times on each bottle. And then I'm going to glue that end again. And then I'm going to make a little bow and hot glue the bow right in the center. And you can connect with us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I've got a great giveaway planned when I reach 2,000 subscribers. I've got a goal to reach that by Easter. So I'd love your help with reaching my goal. And aren't these the cutest little thing? I think these turned out so sweet. And what a great way to use up some of those essential oil bottles. And they'll have a great scent <laughs> already because they already have that great scent in them. You can't get that oil smell out, but they smell wonderful. I just used a couple little sprigs of lavender from the Dollar Tree. And these turned out really precious. And leave me a comment, any comments and thumbs up. That really helps out our channel. So let me know what you think about these little essential oil bunny bottles. So I want to thank these ladies for hosting the challenge today. Jelena from Blondie Next Door and Olga from Olia DIY Adventures. Their information is listed down in my description box along with the playlist. So check out and see what everybody's made with their unconventional materials. Thanks again to these ladies for hosting the challenge. Now, I love me some bamboo utensils or some spoons in the kitchen. <laughs> so, but I'm going to cut this one apart. So, we're using this one. Actually, came from the Dollar Tree. It's the one that has a squared end that I'm going to use for this DIY. And my husband actually cut it off with me. He called it a sawzall. So, whatever that is, that's what he used to cut the end of it off there for me. And I just took some of the Waverly Antique Wax, uh, um, put a coat of that on here, and I'm actually going to sand a little bit of it back off because I want to have it, uh, you know, be a little bit more see-through where you can see a little bit of that light through here. 
I'm doing some sanding now, but actually I don't have it at the end. Once I get the bunny painted on here, I'm going to go over it a little bit more because I want right around the edges and across the bunny to where you can see some of that lighter shade through the, the dark antique wax here. Now to put my bunny on this one, I'm using the medium size round sponge that came in the same pack as the other one. I'm using some of the Waverly Plaster Chalk Paint. When I, I dip this down in the paint and then I smooth the end over before I actually apply this to the spoon here or to this utensil that I'm using. So you just push down, give it a little bit of a turn. That way it's nice and filled in. And I'm actually going to use this one twice. I'm going to do the, the bottom part of the bunny with this sponge and the top part of the bunny. And then I'm going to freehand his ears. And have fun with this, you know, uh, you know, if you want your bunny to have some little pink in his ears, do that or however you want to decorate your little bunny. I thought these were a little really fun to make. So I'm just going to freehand his ears on and then I'm going to go back and put a little bow on my bunny. And he looks a little top heavy or a little big headed maybe. <laughs> That's the right thing to say, but I went around the bottom of him just a little bit just so it kind of even his head out. His head looks just slightly big there to me. So I wanted him to look just a little bit more even. So I kind of squared the edges off down around the bottom. And I'm not gonna put a face on this bunny either, but I am gonna put a little bow. And, and I just picked like this, this is called a Caribbean blue. I thought this was a really pretty color. So I'm just gonna freehand a bow here. Once I get finished painting the bow, and it dries, I put a little bit of green sprigs of grass down at the bottom. And then once that dried, I took my sandpaper and went over this a little bit heavier, especially around those edges. I wanted some of that lighter shade of the wood to show through. And I went over the bunny a little bit too, so he's a little bit more see-through and not quite such a solid white. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of raffia, make a little knot on the top. Now, I love the way this turned out, too. I think it turned out really cute. He has a nice rustic or nice kind of weathered farmhouse look to it. You could go ahead and put this out now for spring and for Easter. Only cost me a dollar to make. Really simple and easy. If you, you know, need some help with making the circles, those sponges are a great idea to make anything that's round. So, I've got one more DIY to make, and this is a really fun, easy DIY. So, I love to make wreaths, and when I saw this, I was like, mmm... I'm gonna give this a shot. So we're gonna make a little simple, fun Easter wreath that's really colorful and cute, but definitely keep this away from any little babies. We don't want them to get this in their mouth after we get the paint on here. Now the teething ring has two different sides. One side had more round circles and the other hat side has some lines. So I used the side that has the round circles and I just used some wood filler to fill that in just to try to make it a little bit more of a smoother surface to paint. I used the Waverly shade of plaster chalk paint again. I actually had to put two coats on here to get this nice and covered. And there you can see a little bit how it's got a little bit more of a flat surface. And I left the little polka dots or the little dots there. I didn't fill those in because we're just going to paint those. I thought those would be really cute. And I'm using a couple little kind of Easter shades of paint. I've got like a Caribbean blue, a bright pink, a yellow, a purple. So use whatever you've got. I wanted this to be kind of a bright, cheery, um, those classic colors for Easter. And I'm attempting to make make some Easter eggs. So I'm going to make some eggs. I want to make four eggs here kind of like on every other one and then I'm just going to put some little polka dots on the pieces there that already have dots and then I'm just going to make some polka dots on the ones that do not have dots on them. And of course with Easter eggs you can decorate these any way you like. <laughs> so that makes it really fun. So I just used the tip of my brush and did little polka dots and made a couple little lines and tried to do some little zigzags. So you know make them however you think of what an Easter egg should look like. And once my paint dried, I found this awesome ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I thought this was the prettiest little ribbon. It has lots of beautiful colors in it. And they really match the shades that I used on my teething ring. So I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue. And I'm gluing that in the kind of in between the pieces there. And that's just to start. And I want this to kind of be loosely wrapped around my wreath. And it looks like I'm making a twisted mess here. I know <laughs> it looks kind of funny here watching me on you when know, after I filmed this and I kind of went off the camera there a little bit. But I just am loosely kind of wrap that around and then I'm going to cut it and hot glue it there on the end. And then I'm going to make a little bow. But doesn't that look cute? I think it looks so sweet. Really has that classic Easter color look. 
And there's a little bit of a bow struggle here going on, if, if you don't know exactly what's going on right here, but that's what's going on. <laughs> so I'm struggling here with my bow just a little bit, but I'm going to hot glue my bow on here, and then I'm actually going to glue one of the ends down because it did not want to cooperate with me. So that's my bow struggle. And you got to let me know what you think about this one. So this one's really you know, out there, I think, a little bit with <laughs> using the unconventional materials. Who would have thought using a teething ring to make an Easter wreath, right? So it's a little tiny one, but really cute. And you know, look great sitting beside of some little Easter eggs or some a little colorful basket. And this turned out so sweet too. I love the way the colors mix together with the ribbon. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. It might be the first time you've seen a teething ring made into a wreath. So let me know. And if you're looking for some great thrift flips, we have our third Thursday thrift flips that will be coming out this week on Thursday. So you don't want to miss that. So tune back in for that. I also have some of my other Easter DIYs from last year down in my description box. I want to thank everybody for watching. And I want to thank the um, Jelena from Blondie Next Door and Olga from Olia DIY Adventures for hosting the challenge today. Don't forget to check out their channels and the playlist down in my description box. And I've got a bunch of my other videos listed down there too. So check out and see what I made for Valentine's Day and for Easter and spring. And this was a really fun challenge. It made you think outside of the box for something unique and different. I hope everybody enjoyed my video today. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.